Hi, this is Dave Clayton, Research Director at ARC Advisor Group. Today I'll be discussing the Manufacturing Execution Systems, or MES Market for Process Industries, with Janice Abel, Principal Consultant at ARC and primary author of ARC's recently published set of MES reports. Today we'll be discussing how owner-operators can use modern manufacturing execution systems or MES solutions to turn real-time mission-critical production data into actionable insights across their enterprise. Thank you, David, and thank you to our audience for listening today. My name is Janice Abel, and I've been an analyst for ARC for over a decade. Prior to this, I spent over 26 years in the process industries. At ARC, I'm the lead analyst for MES and Operational Historians, or Industrial Data Platforms. I've also been focused on other related markets, like the manufacturing intelligence market, analytics, batch management, operator training simulation, and the digital transformation. I've personally been involved in the MES market for most of my career. I also have an MBA and a master's degree in chemical engineering. At ARC, we are always uncovering new and interesting things, and right now it's very exciting in the MES market. The MES market is also known as the Manufacturing Execution Systems, also Modern Manufacturing Operations Management, also known as MOM, and we're finding that the market is changing and growing. The information for this webinar is a result of our more recent market research in the MES for process industries market. And ARC Mark Advisory Group has been focused on manufacturing and operations for well over 30 years. We've been collecting data and researching the MES space for over two decades and have data and trends to support this. We do many studies for this market and this the MES for process industry, which is the subject of this webinar. We also do an MES for discrete industries research report, as well as supply a selection research and many other reports on this market. We find the market for MES to be different by industry, particularly process versus discrete industries, which is why we separate the reports. Today's discussion is focused on the MES market research for the process market. It's based on information from a report that we recently completed. Thanks, Janice. Maybe we should start by helping the audience understand how ARC defines the MES or MOM markets. ARC defines MES as the operation software that connects the production plant with the top floor or the business enterprise systems like the ERP or the IT system, for example. MES closes the gap between the IT and the OT, and it's also a key technology for the IT-OT convergence effort that we're seeing. The software enables connectivity between all of the data collected from the automation systems, as well as the sensors, the machines, the robotics, and so on and it manages and executes the process. MES includes applications that enable workflow, manage intelligence, including visualization, scheduling and planning, and managing quality, for example. MES applications tend to vary by industry applications and by supplier. And most importantly, MES integrates the data from the shop floor to the top floor, whether it's on premise, in the cloud, edge, or in data lakes, or from other data sources that were often in silos years previously, or even today we see data available on spreadsheets on different people's laptops. But the interconnectivity and the interoperability that MES offers brings all of that data, the information, the intelligence, the insights together. It enables manufacturing flexibility, execution, tracking, and improves and even optimizes operational efficiencies. So now that we know what MES solutions do, what are some of the key benefits manufacturers cite from their MES or MOM investments? There are a number of benefits or reasons that customers investing in MES solutions, but I'll just focus on some of the benefits shown on this slide. And these benefits align well with the industrial digital transformation and all that that entails, 
particularly around dealing with the increasingly complex processes and products and the ability to make faster actionable decisions faster with the data. And the MES market is still growing. And this is largely due to the fact that new features, capabilities, and applications are being integrated to or are being built into the modern MES software. One focus for the digital transformation is operations. And MES is an enabler for production improvements. And this has been a huge driver for MES adoption. These new technologies and applications that are being integrated and even built into MES solutions are making the technology even more compelling to adopt because the benefits are increasing. For example, the use of advanced analytics in AI and MES, or the use of digital twins in production, or, or even some of the ways that have improved plant visibility and user experience by using newer, more visual digital dashboards with improved visualization that include augmented reality or virtual reality. And the technology enables people to connect to new sensors and systems that align people better for collaboration using these digital tools. The digital transformation also aligns well with MES's ability to improve production efficiency and cost reductions. MES improves product quality and enables users to get products to market faster. And this also helps justify purchasing MES technology because it ultimately reduces costs. Today, it's about producing high quality products faster and cheaper. MES enables faster time to market, which enables users to produce newer, more innovative products. And manufacturing is strategic for many companies to remain competitive today. It matters how you produce your products. And there are many other benefits to MES as well. MES can also improve planning and scheduling, help with regulatory compliance, and reduce unplanned downtime. These benefits and the effect the digital transformation is having on this market are covered more in depth in our research, but improving efficiencies, improving collaboration, quality, and reducing costs are the overriding benefits, all of which enable users to be able to compete better and ultimately stay in business. And because we are seeing a lot of enhancements in the software tools, and because the software is easier to use, modern MES technology is enabling users to be able to use the information to optimize their processes in ways that they never could before. Thanks, Janice. So we know that the digital transformation is transforming how people do business in many markets across the globe. How do you see it impacting the MES markets? As we discussed, the digital transformation is transforming businesses, and MES is a central technology for the digital transformation. The digital transformation is multifaceted, and we are looking at how it is affecting people, processes, things, and the data, and how MES is one of the technologies that helps align people, is changing the processes, and integrating the data from new digital or smart sensors. ARC believes that there's a lot of value in real-time database decisions and companies should embrace the digital transformation. MES is a technology that is helping with this. In your opinion, how can manufacturers ensure that they get the most out of their MES or MOM investments? While there are a number of key strategies for MES from the research we did, including embracing the digital transformation, I selected a few of these from the recent MES for the Process Industries report. To get started, users should start by investing in newer modern MES solutions with newer technologies and enable a more modern user experience with better visualization tools and human factor engineered dashboards. Users should invest in newer complementary technology that are either integrated to or embedded in the newer MES IT platforms, like for example, analytics. They should develop a strategy for MES applications and data that aligns well with your organization using on-premise, cloud, edge, or data lakes. 
and companies should use applications that enable enterprise-wide interoperability and connectivity that empower collaboration and decision-making and make it easy to obtain actionable data-driven insights that give value to your organization and to measure the value that these insights give the organization. A lot of folks we spoke to are starting with a pilot and they're learning from the experience and they're finding that the benefits increase exponentially if they're able to extend the application across the plants so that they can integrate silos and other equipment and systems and data sources. And as they become more integrated, the goal should be to connect across the enterprise and compare the intelligence because you'll maximize benefits and optimize operations. And look for solutions that have easy to use tools and address the user experience with human factors that enable enterprise-wide visualization with tools that are easy to customize for the specific process. If people have access to easy to use tools, they will use the features. Some newer visualization features include augmented and virtual reality. And we're starting to see digital twins being used to simulate the process and combine the physical with the digital world. Use software that is easy to implement, flexible, and simple to use because the MES will enable innovation and faster time to market. The software tools that enable faster and easier data-based insights will enable users to use them and lead to better decisions that increase productivity immensely. So how can ARC help manufacturers looking to benefit from the latest enhancements in MES solutions? So how can we help you? ARC can help you get started on the digital transformation for your MES solution or help you in your journey in terms of the technology, people, and processes. We have a lot of information that can help you. ARC has a lot of expertise and an in-depth understanding of the market and the suppliers, where it's heading, and the supplier capabilities. We have lots of different types of data depending upon your needs, like growth rates and trends. For the MES process market research, our process markets include oil and gas industry, chemicals, pharmaceutical and biotechnology industries, food and beverage industry, electric power generation, mining and metals, pulp and paper, and a few other industries differentiated by leading suppliers and regions. We also have opportunity charts by deployment, by various attributes like types of information, supplier service revenues, deployment types, customer tiers, sales channel, etc. We can use ARC data to help you understand the market better, the technology and suppliers in your industry and region. And we can include the data with our market research, with our mirror tool, which allows you to analyze the data even further. We also have a supplier selection report and criteria charts and a tool that reviews functionality and can help make the user supplier selection and assessment process faster and smoother. And the tool is designed as a collaborative tool to improve the entire technology selection process. So thank you very much, and now I'll turn this back over to David. Thanks for sharing your insights with us today, Janice. This concludes our presentation on the MES for the Process Industries Market. Audience members who would like more information or have any questions about the research we've done should get in touch with a client manager here at ARC or contact the author directly at jable at arcweb.com or myself at dclayton at arcweb.com. Thanks for your attention and have a great day.